Do I ever wish that I had limbs? Of course. But I know that I don't have arms and legs for a reason, so I'm just gonna live my life as best as I can. I definitely had to push myself mentally to be able to get to where I am today. There's always people doubting me. And I am just trying to live my life as independent as possible. I think some of my biggest proudest moments in my life would be learning how to walk, learning how to get myself dressed, going up and down the stairs, getting into my wheelchair, taking my own notes in school, graduating. I always put it on timer mode. And then I just hold it. Hand heart syndrome is a birth defect that affects less than one in one million people here in the United States. Some of the common signs are a small or undeveloped jaw, missing fingers or toes, or no arms and no legs. And clearly that is my circumstance right now. <laughs> I was born without any limbs. It also affects the short-term memory loss and sometimes the hearing. Ever since I was like 15 years old, I told myself that I wanted my goal to be as independent as possible. So I was gonna do whatever it took to become to where I am today. I have nine brothers and four sisters, and I'm the only adopted. And people always tell me, you can't do this. And then I turn around and show them that I can. And every time that I'm doing them, I'm just super grateful that I had my family supporting me and not babying me into doing everything for me. And there are so many times when I was younger that I didn't understand why they wouldn't just do it for me. Like, I have no arms and legs, please just do it for me, I don't want to do it. And they just say, no, you can do it, you'll figure out a way. And my mom says that to me all the time now. The biggest concern as a parent, obviously, was how do we raise a son with no arms and legs to be independent? Worked hard with Gabe to help him overcome different challenges and handicaps and to help him be independent. That, of course, uh, resulted in a lot of struggles, a lot of tears on both sides. And I hated my parents for making me go through all that hard work, but now I look at them and I'm so grateful that they pushed me and encouraged me to be independent and be the person that they knew that I could be. People comment and stare daily, like nonstop, everywhere I go. Bullying definitely is still an issue, but it's something that I get to choose on how it affects me, and a lot of times I don't let it affect me. And there was times where he would come home and he was just like completely, you know, miserable after that day because of how much he got picked on. He's he's super big and tough and is you know inside, so he's like not gonna tell me who's doing it and who's saying what. A lot of times I'd cry about it and in my younger years it was hard trying to find real friends because you never know if they're just being my friends because they felt bad for me or if they just wanted attention from being my friend. When I finally made friends in high school, I was learning that they didn't care that I didn't have arms and legs. They saw me as a person. It's gonna be great. I just felt carried away, that's all. <laughs> I first started dancing when I was in the seventh grade. I told myself that I wanted to try out for the talent show. I didn't tell anybody that I was trying out just because I wanted it to be a surprise. So I tried out and I made the audition and I went home and I told my family and they're like, what did you do? <laughs> I was like, no really, I danced. I performed that dance in front of my entire junior high school and I got a standing ovation. That was 
just a huge eye-opening moment that this is something that I could do, that I wanted to do, and that if I just pushed myself, I could definitely do it. And now I'm doing benefit concerts and helping raise money for people with sicknesses. I've been doing speaking for almost four years now. It's pretty crazy with all the places that I've been able to go to and meet so many amazing people and hear their stories and hear how I've been able to help them. One of the common questions that I get would be, is your life hard? Do you wish you had limbs? My response would be, no, my life isn't hard. Life is only hard when you make it hard. If I'm gonna make it hard, then that's on me. I'm just like everybody else. I'm bound to have my down days. And when it does happen, there's always a voice in my head saying give up and I have to fight that voice all the time. It's not about me, it's about living for other people. I've been able to accomplish so much and I think it's funny when people say, do you wish you ever had prosthetics? And my answer is always no, because I've already come so far in my independence without them. I like my body the way it is, and I'm proud of what it's capable of doing. <laughs>